For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. There is nothing on my skin right now except for my Farsali Volcanic Elixir. And I'm going to be starting with my eyes first since I'm going to be using a lot of pigment. So I'm going to prime my lids with my NARS eyeshadow primer and just blend that all over. Then for a base, I'm going to be using this eyeliner from YSL. It's a beautiful golden color and the reason why I'm using this is because it's going to make the eyeshadows that I'm going to use a little bit later on pop and last much, much longer because it is waterproof and long wearing. I'm just buffing this onto my lid with my Real Techniques buffing brush and just really building up the color. I'm not putting an insane amount on, just a really nice wash of color and I'm not going into the crease. I'm also taking that onto my lower lash line as well. Then for my crease, I'm going to take this really pretty leathery brown color from NYX and this is going to be used as a transition color. It's not going to be the primary crease color. I just really love this color for whatever eyeshadow look I'm doing. I always love to use it in the crease. Then I'm gonna pack this really beautiful pigment from MAC all over the lid and really push that into the eyeliner base that we applied a little bit earlier. I'm not dragging my brush because I don't want the pigment to fall all over my face and this color is just gonna pop with that base that we applied earlier. So just primarily keeping it on the lid, I'm not taking it into my crease area and this is also gonna go on the lower lash line as well. For those of you who want product names and details, they'll all be listed in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Then I'm going to take this really beautiful chocolatey brown color that has golden flecks in it. This is by NARS, and I'm going to really push that into the outer crease of my eye and the outer V of my eye. This is going to add a lot of depth to the eye, it's going to give it a lot of dimension and just look really, really beautiful, especially because the golden flecks just kind of pull all of the eyeshadow colors together and just look really beautiful and blended. This color is also going to go on the lower lash line. I'm going to blend that with the pigment that I applied a little earlier. And I'm just connecting that with the shadow that I applied in the outer V right on top. I'm not really creating a very winged out look with this. Then I'm going to take this really beautiful chocolatey brown eyeliner from MAC and it's going to go on my waterline and on the tight line. I didn't want to use a black for this because I'm, I'm doing a bold lip and I didn't want it to look like whoa on the eyes and whoa on the lips so I thought brown would be a nice little touch to kind of complete the look but I am taking a matte black shadow and an angled brush and I'm just running this along my lash line just to thicken up my lashes a little bit and give the illusion that I am wearing a liner but really I'm not and this is going on the lower lash line as well so now I'm going to prime my face with my hourglass mineral veil primer I just recently started using this and I love it, it makes my makeup just come on beautifully and last all day and I had to take a little green juice break because I was hungry and then I'm gonna apply my foundation this is by Chanel it's the perfection Lumiere and I haven't used this foundation in like two years and I don't know why I ever stopped using it I feel like I'm betraying my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation but this perfection Lumiere is just that it's perfection <laughs> And I'm buffing it onto my skin with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, my new holy grail brush. I love this thing. Really, really blending that into my skin, making it look like second skin and airbrushed. Then I'm going to take my Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to highlight under my eyes. I'm using Pro Longwear because I want it to last a really long time and I'm going for a heavier makeup look. This is not a natural look by any means. so. Also taking this onto my forehead, bridge of my nose, and right above my lip just to have a really highlighted center of the face because I am going for a vampy look but I don't want it to look too dark and muddy and gothic. So highlighting the centers of my face is really going to brighten that area up and just add a little bit of light to this makeup look. So just blending that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And then I'm going to go the extra mile and highlight the very centers of my face with this Mali Beauty Perfect Prep Under Eye Brightener. I know it's under eye, but I use it under my eyes and the entire centers of my face, like my forehead, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and on my chin. And it looks like a lot. It looks like... Girl, what are you doing with your life? You just look like a ghost. None of that matches. But I promise you, once I get all of the makeup on, it's all going to look blended and it's going to look really nice. The great thing about this product is that it's 
pretty sheer, so it gives a brightening effect and it has anti-aging properties in the actual product, but it's not super heavy at all. So just really blending that in, and I took my foundation brush just to make sure it's nicely blended. Then I'm gonna take this setting powder by MAC. It's actually a highlighting powder that has a yellow undertone. It's kind of like banana powder by Ben Nye, but I don't have banana powder, I have the MAC one, so just using that to set my under eye and then fixing up the under eye a little bit. There's no extra product on this brush. It's just the brush that I used a little earlier to apply that shadow. Then I'm gonna take this really pretty golden color from my Estee Lauder palette and I'm gonna wet it with my MAC Charged Water just so I can get more of a metallic and brighter payoff from the eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are a gel consistency, so you can use them wet or dry. If you use them wet, they'll be more metallic. If you use them dry, they'll, of course, be like a powder finish. Now I'm going to apply my cream contour. This is by Bobbi Brown. I don't like taking the product directly onto my face. I like to pick it up on my brush first and then apply it onto my face. I just feel like it looks much better like that and I don't, ha I don't get issues of applying too much product. So I like to get very precise with my nose. That's why I use an angled brush as a paint brush from the dollar store. Then I'm going to take my stipple brush and I'm going to go in the hollows of my cheeks, temples, hairline, jaw, the works. For those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know I like to layer creams with powders, especially when I'm going to an event because it makes your makeup last much, much longer and it makes the powder product actually more pigmented and stronger and like I said, lasts much, much longer. So I really like to layer creams with powders. You can totally skip this step and go just for a cream or just for a powder. It's entirely up to you. So just really getting on to my contour game, getting my jawline, just so everything looks put together. You know, you can't skip one part and just do the other part because then it looks in incomplete. So just getting really precise with my nose, I switched to a smaller brush. I've seen a lot of people use bigger brushes on their nose and I feel like for me personally that defeats the purpose because it just gets the product everywhere. So I like to use smaller brushes when I'm doing my nose. And just really blending that in. Then I'm going to use my favorite product ever. This gives you the angelic glow from within. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid version. And I'm taking my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I'm using the flat side and it's damp. That's how I like to use it with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Make sure it's damp. And I'm going to blend this onto the high points of my cheekbones brow bone, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, and cupid's bow. Again, I'm gonna be setting this with a powder. You can totally leave this on its own and it looks absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to an event. I want my makeup to last forever evers, so I'm layering my products. Then I'm gonna work on my brows, just brush them through. I'm not doing anything too crazy with my brows since my entire look is pretty intense already. I don't want it to look like I painted my entire face on even though I kind of did, but whatever, makeup is fun. So just taking this brow powder from Sigma and an angled brush from Sigma and I'm just filling in the sparse areas. I have a little bit of sparseness in the inner part of my brow and right above my brow. So just really filling in those areas. Then I'm actually gonna set this with a brow gel as well. I'm using a tinted brow gel from MAC. It's new in their permanent line. Um, it's from the Prolong Wear collection and I really enjoy it. It really is waterproof and it's such an amazing product. I like the brow gels from MAC, but they used to have really big brushes and this one has a cute little brush so it makes it really easy to apply it onto your brows and just not make a mess because I am very messy when it comes to anything. So really like that small, cute little brush that it has. Then I'm just gonna clean up with my concealer brush and honestly, there's no extra product on here. I just took whatever was on the brush. And then I'm gonna set it with a matte highlight. This is from Sigma. Any matte highlight will do. I'm using matte because everything on my lid is a shimmer, well, mostly shimmer, so I want a matte brow. I don't usually go for a shimmery brow. Then I'm gonna prime my lashes with this Lancome Eyelash Primer Base and really get that onto my lashes. I don't use this on a daily basis. I was just feeling fancy today because I was going to an event, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Then I'm gonna apply my first coat of mascara, which is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous, and I'm gonna add some more mascara. I know I use way too much mascara. I, I just love mascara. 
I'm going to be using the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes and there are the eyes and brows done. Now I'm going to go through and set all of the cream products that I applied earlier on my face. Now that they've sat on my face for a little while, warmed up to my skin and they're all good, this is a matte contour powder from MAC that I'm going to be using to set the cream and this is pretty much going exactly where I applied all of the cream contour a little earlier and I'm using a fluffy brush to apply it and then I'm switching to a smaller brush when I'm doing my nose. Then I'm going to set my cream highlight with this highlighter from Estee Lauder. This is a limited edition product. It's not available anymore. I got it like two years ago I think and I'm obsessed with it. I really hope Estee Lauder comes out with it again because it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. I try not to use it too much because I don't I wanted to run out. Then I'm going to apply my blush. This is by MAC. This is not an overwhelming blush. It's a sheer tone, so it's very, very light. I'm, I don't want too much color on the cheeks because my eyes are very bold, and I'm going to go for a bold lip. So I just went for a very sheer, bronzy blush just to kind of have something on the cheek, but nothing too overwhelming. And I'm going to powder my skin so that I stay nice and matte throughout the day. And I'm just using my Chanel powder with a big, fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take my lip liner. This is by MAC. It's called Strip Down. I use this liner with everything. No matter what lip color I'm wearing, I always line my lips with this because I feel like it just completes my look, gives the illusion of fuller lips, so that's why I use it. Then I'm going to apply this cream lip stain by Sephora as my first base coat. And I'm going to line my lips again with Jordana Lip Liner in Cabernet. The reason why I applied the cream lip stain is because this stuff lasts forever. You never have to reapply. So I like to use it as a base whenever I'm doing a darker lip. Then I'm going to take this lip tar by OCC. And at first I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, I hope it doesn't turn out black. But then I sheared it out by blending it onto my lips and it was perfect. It turned into the perfect lip color and lip mix. I love it. Then I'm just going to fix up the shape of my lips a little bit with my concealer brush. There's nothing on this brush, just whatever's left over. And now we're going to set our makeup with this Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray and we're just going to let it dry now all of this paint ain't going nowhere <laughs> we're set for the night so my hair was done I think the day before this so it was blow-dried and now I'm just gonna kind of fix it up a little bit because I am gonna be tying it up I do want to add a little bit of color into my hair because my hair is so dark and I'm putting it into a braid you can't really get much out of the braid so I'm adding some lighter extension so that it gives a little dimension to the braid a little little something something that's fun and not permanent because I am way too scared to color my hair I don't know where these extensions are from I'm sorry guys whatever your favorite extension brand is if you guys are interested in this look just get a lighter pair of extensions these didn't have a name on them so I just grabbed whatever was in my drawer so then I just fixed up my bangs by blow drying them and I created a center part and then I realized that I kind of need to tease my hair because I want the back of my hair to be a little bit more fluffed up and I'm also going to be applying a, not applying, I'm going to be putting on a, a tika a little later on and I want something like a base for it to stick to and really grab onto. So dual purpose teasing, I don't really like to tease a lot because I think it's so damaging for your hair but it was necessary, I was going to a wedding. <laughs> So now that my hair is teased, I'm just going to kind of play with my hair and put it where I want it and I'm going to tie it into place and I'm going to take out a strand of hair and I'm going to cover that elastic so it's nice and hidden and you don't even see it and it looks like you put so much work into your hair when really you didn't. So just grabbing that, wrapping it around and pinning it in place with a bobby pin. I really love how the, not the highlights, but I really love how the extensions added a little bit of color into my hair and just give it a different type of look. So that's how the back looks. And now I'm just gonna put my hair into your standard braid. Three strands, good to go, the everyday braid. I was thinking about doing a fishtail, but I was running a little late and I was like, nah. okay, we'll do a three strand braid. So just braiding my hair and I'm gonna put an elastic at the bottom and the hair is done. As you can see, the extensions added a really nice little pop of color into my braid. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So there's how it looks from the back and here's my outfit on. I'm just going to apply my Diga, just put a bobby pin into it and pin it into the teased part of my hair so it does not move the whole night. I actually ended up taking this off a little later on because that little 
ball thing hanging out the bottom it was just way too ticklish for me i just couldn't deal with it so i took it off halfway in the middle of the event but that's okay um now i'm gonna apply my banger why do i keep saying apply i'm gonna put on my bangles and i'm gonna do my weird chicka chicka yeah thing that i do in all of my indian get ready with me videos wait for it here it is <laughs> there we go bangles are on outfit details makeup details shoe details hair details everything will be in the description box below so check that out here is what's on my nails again will be in the description box below because i can't remember it off by heart but it's a brown nail polish i really like it and here is the detailing on the arm and a full view of the dress with my little twirl yay <laughs> i love how the braid turned out i'm obsessed with it I know it's really simple, but I just really like it. It's really different for me. And here are the shoes. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see some more Get Ready With Me videos from me. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!